Hey students, welcome to EE Awesome. I'm Rudy Schlaf, a professor at the Electrical Engineering Department at USF. In today's video I want to show you how to use a switch with an Arduino so you can control something. Let's do it! Here's my setup. The button is connected to pin number 2 on the Arduino. So pin number 2 goes into the button and the button then connects pin number 2 to ground. So every time I press the button then uh, pin number 2 is pulled to ground and so we can read that out on that pin because we will use it as an input. Now to show that the button is pressed I also hooked up the LED and the LED is hooked up with a 220 ohm resistor in series to pin number 8. So when pin number 8 is high the LED is on, when pin number 8 is low the LED is uh, off. And so we'll use that to show that the button is pressed. Let's have a look at the uh, fritzing diagram of this uh, setup. Here this is the button connection, so we have uh, pin number 2 goes to one end of the button and then the other end goes to the ground rail and the ground rail is connected to the ground connector on the Arduino board. Now the LED, the positive end of the LED is connected to the resistor 220 ohm and then we go here into pin 8 and the negative end of the LED is connected to the ground rail. Okay. Now in the Arduino sketch um, I start out with uh, pre-compile definitions. We know that already. So here with define button 2 I simply say that whenever I write button 2 in the sketch I want the compiler to replace that with 2. So button number 2 is used as the button pin and number 8 is used as the LED pin. Then I define a variable. It's a byte variable so it's just one byte 8 bits long and it's called button state. So we will use that to record whether the button is pressed or not. Then in the setup uh, I start out by defining the LED pin as an output. We know that already. Then I write uh, digital write button pin low that turns the LED off. So that makes sure that at the beginning uh, when we turn on the Arduino that the LED is off. And then I use pin mode again to define the button pin as an input. So this is the new thing here in this sketch. We're using the button pin as an input. And the difference between input and output pins is that an output pin provides current to drive something. So here in this case the LED. The button pin on the other hand as an input that is now configured to sense what voltage is applied to that pin. So it doesn't provide a current. It draws a little bit of current and it measures what voltage is applied to it. And so in this case uh, it will measure that we have zero on it when we press the button. Now when the button is released we need to make sure that this pin now sees 5 volts otherwise we wouldn't see a difference and so this is done with the digital write command that we use for this button. So here digital write button pin high and that means that this pin is connected internally via a resistor to 5 volts. So whenever the button is not pressed the pin has 5 volts on it. When we press the button then the pin is short circuited to ground and it has 0 volts on it. And so we can, that, we can read that out uh, into the button state. So and this is what we do here in the main loop. The first thing is to ask what is the state of that button pin and we do that with the command digital read. Digital read now instead of uh, in comparison to digital write, digital read determines the voltage that's at this button. And so digital read button pin gives us either a 1 if the pin is high at 5 volts or it gives us a low when the pin is low at, at ground. And so this is written into the button state variable. Now here we simply ask the button state variable now are you low or are you high. We do that with the if else statement. So if the button state is low then we turn the LED on because low means we press the button right it's connected to ground. And so we, we use digital write LED pin high. So digital pin high means 5 volts LED is on. Else if the button state is high uh, then we write low into the LED pin and that means the LED is off. Okay, let's see how this works. So let's connect the Arduino. 
and upload the sketch. So here we usually check whether the right board and the right port that looks good. And then I press upload and you see it blink on the Arduino and now we're done. And so now it should work. So when I press the button, the LED comes on. That is pretty awesome, isn't it? So now we're controlling the Arduino with the button and the Arduino then does something for us whenever we press the button. Imagine what you can do with that. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, there are many more videos like this on eeawesome.com that help you get started with the Arduino. Uh, so check those out. Uh, see you soon. Thanks for watching.